life was just not having it for me we it was like no girl go away hey guys i am adia welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi and if you're a returning subscriber thank you honestly so i'm back with the life of this video chill that see don't forget to like share subscribe grab a drink it's about to be ups and downs all up in this be okay so just grab a drink let's chill hang out get to know me if you don't know me because i'm pretty sure by the end of this video you will know me <laughs> so yeah don't forget to like share subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter follow me on tits tiktok instagram twitter Okay, 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 and let's get into this video, please. Ciao. You see me being all bubbly, yeah? It's a facade, I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, not now, but like usually. <laughs> Cause, bro. Okay, so where do I start? So January started right, and the year was shitty. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but. I was just having the worst January, right? But I was still pushing. Like, I was still putting out content. I was still trying to put out content, I would say. You know, like, and then I didn't like, this is from my channel perspective now. I didn't like what I was putting out, right? Now, from my life's perspective, I it made it a year since I've been in Lagos, right? Do you know what that means? Bring you all of rent. <laughs> Girl, the ghetto, okay? And girl got grown ass bills to pay. So there was that. Then I took up a few more roles at work, which was kicking my behind life was just not having it for me we it was like no girl go away because i became i became depressive i was always crying i was so unhappy i i mean i would not say i started to isolate myself because if you know me personally you know i'm always isolating but i just I was not making time for my friends. I didn't even want to be around people. I was crying so much. I wasn't eating. I was so unhappy. Like there was one time I was at work and I was just crying. <laughs> the whole day, my day was so messed up. I was just crying. I, I could not get it together. I was so sad all the time. Like, honestly, I say that I was depressed or passively depressed at least now i did not go to a doctor obviously so i'm putting eye cream by the way that's why it's just on my eyes i didn't go to a doctor obviously so you know it's not like um medically diagnosed but child i read the symptoms online <laughs> girl <laughs> i heard the worst thing you can do is read um signs and symptoms of any disease from google because then you start to develop it that was not my problem i already had them before i read it you know so yeah i was just i was depressed <laughs> but the thing about me is that i will say this again if you know me personally you should subscribe so you can get to know me personally but i suck at sharing i suck at sharing how I feel what's going on I will listen like if you come up to me and you're like Adia da 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 like you have this issue blah, blah, blah. girl I will listen to everything you have to say and I will give you my two cents on it but you see me and opening up like you will literally have to put a gun to my head to get me to tell you what's wrong with me so essentially i was being depressed but whenever someone asks oh how are you i'm fine because in my head i'm like you don't really want to know what's going on like 
everyone has what they are dealing with she gets so in my head i'm like nah, you don't really want to know you're just asking to be courteous do you understand so i'm always like yeah i'm fine you know yeah i'm fine lying through my goddamn teeth <laughs> oh my god and honestly looking at it back now i still haven't spoken to anybody chair like i'm not trying to act like oh now i uh-uh i didn't i have not spoken to anybody <laughs> I feel like looking at you now, I should probably talk to someone, you know, so that I don't want to slip my wrist. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I'm really joking, honestly. Well, I feel like I should talk to someone, and I probably will. I looked up um, therapy. Uh, there's this app, Better Help. So basically, they provide you with. Um, you know a therapist and i actually like signed up like i just went through the whole registration process first of all the money is plenty first of all and then second of all it's like i honestly don't know if i was ready like to talk about what was going on with me you know i'm very strong and i know how to be very strong for the people in my life I just have to learn to be very strong for me because sometimes it's like I give everybody so much of my energy and then I'm like okay what's left for you do you get what I mean so I guess that's it for that what else has been going on my channel obviously because of my rapid decline in mental health <laughs> i stopped posting and it was not like i wasn't filming i was filming but i hated everything i i want to make it a habit of not putting out things i'm not personally proud of because at the end of the day when brands want to work with me i feel like people can't tell when you know your heart is not into something you can only hide it for so long that's what i'm trying to say when I work with brands, I want them to, you know, feel my content and feel like I like I enjoy what I'm doing. So I just stopped putting out content. Besides that, my channel has not been growing. Like, and honestly, that's nobody's fault but mine, if I'm being honest. But then I try to tell myself that it's not completely my fault because I cannot. I was not in a good mental space, and I should take care of myself. I had the longest hassle with myself trying to figure out what I want my channel to be about because the thing is that I'm multifaceted girl like I love to do a lot of things so it's like I'm like okay like I like to do this right but y'all might not like it do you get know what I mean and I am such a perfectionist bro like that would probably be like the end of me so it's like, well, these people like this kind of content, but like, I like this one, but would they accept it well? And I just get so stuck in the admin of it, and I just freeze out. So I've been having trouble kind of knowing where my content is headed, she gets. But the good thing here is, the good thing here is, um, in the last few months, I've kind of narrowed down I even wanted to open a second channel, guys. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> like, I've already opened the channel. Actually, it's actually open right now. Check it. Uh, okay, this is how I wanted to do I wanted to do, like, the main channel to be this channel. And then I wanted to move vlogs to the other channel. Right? But then I'm like, starting a channel from scratch. Are you kidding me? It was giving chill, girl. Are you sure you're ready for that? So it was like I didn't made a few uploads on there, but I really did them. Tickets. So it was just like there was just a lot. Like my mind mill was milling. All this was just there were just so many contributing factors. Like they were doing from the village. Like that's the summary of everything, honestly. <laughs> I see when people are depressive but they are also very jolly and very you know please i feel like i should say that that's not what's going on here 
Okay, so I, I'm in a good mood. Um, and I'm so happy to be back to filming. This thing literally gives me life. Like, I cannot explain how much I love doing this. Like, I cannot wait for the time, which will be soon, when content creating pays my bills. Like, I want to do this full time. Do you get what I mean? Now, I feel like I'm better. I feel like I'm better. See, there's something I want to say right now, but I just rather not. I want to put out the fact that killing myself has never crossed my mind. Like, I just, I just, I feel like when people think about depression, the next thing they, you know, associated with is suicide. There's so much I have to live for. Girl, we about to meet this money, okay? So I'm not about to cut that short, like, mm-mm. Okay? So it's like, I want people to understand, like, simply because I was like, you know, really unhappy for so long, it never crossed my mind to take my life. That's a lie. It, it, I mean, it crossed my mind, but not like in a, I wanted to do it, it more like in a, this would be easier type of situation, you know? I just, I, I want you to understand that ultimately I would not do it, to get but there are some times where it just felt easier, like, you know, but I've always been of the opinion that I would rather get help, but I don't want it to come across like, oh my gosh, try to kill yourself, blah, 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 blah. no, please, I did not try to kill myself, thank you. Thankfully, I have clarity now, and honestly, I cannot, do you know, the day I finally decided to make a definite decision on what i wanted my channel to be i was just gassed from there i feel like that was the point where things started to take shape just like go jesus christ i'm fine babe <laughs> okay so there was a friend of mine right and basically he and i stop talking well not stop talking i kind of cut ties with him because i felt like i had to right now you know how when you meet someone for the first time you just know that they're going to be around for your first child child education do you know i have a lot of friends like that well not a lot but i have friends like that yeah so i thought that this person was going to be one of those people one of those people that will buy my kid his bicycle for his first birthday type of friend you know so yeah that i felt like this person was like one of those kind of people and honestly we had a fantastic relationship she gets or he did something and it was forgivable but it was unacceptable right so what that means to me is that even though I forgave him, I just, it was disrespectful, like, and you never want to give somebody a chance to disrespect you like that for a second time. I've only been heartbroken once, and it was not even a boyfriend, it was a friend, she gets. So, the thing about me is, I don't have a lot of friends, Jesus knows, like, having friendships, like, quality friendships is, is a lot of work. Yeah, second to family to me. Obviously, I'm not done with you right now, so I cannot spoil you the way I want to spoil you. But I give you time. When someone feels like my friend, they feel like family. Chill. We spoke about every and anything. Like, yeah, I trusted him so much. So that's why when he did what he did, at first, eh, I was waiting for him to tell me it was a joke. <laughs> Like I waited, I genuinely gave him the latitude just for him to say, babes, I'm just doing it, you know. <laughs> he never did. She gets, he, he never did. And I'm like, hold on now. <laughs> now, over the years, I've been in friendships that have wrecked, that wrecked me. She get now I've been with people that are so toxic. He and I stopped talking. It was not because I was too big to forgive, because I did forgive. One thing about me, I don't know how to hold grudges because it it affects me, 
but then it affects you so it's like i i can't it was more of what he did he didn't find anything wrong in it it was something that was most likely to repeat it. and for me i feel like that's the worst type of offense like if you don't see what you did to be wrong obviously i'm not going to tell you guys what happened because like it's not your business and then again i couldn't trust him after i told him how i felt about everything chicken i actually tried to go back to how our relationship was but i physically i physically could not move on like when we stopped talking it took me a while to, because it was somebody i genuinely cared about but at this point it's like self-respect over anything else i just it would have been disrespectful to myself if i had continued the friendship when we stopped talking it really hurt like yeah sometimes i would want to message him she gets and you know say hi or stuff like that but the truth is first of all i know that i'll be doing myself a disservice right i made a decision and it was for my self-respect and so going back on it will not be fair to me it will not be fair to him because he has made peace with the fact that i no longer want the, the relationship right it just losing the friendship made me sad because he, you don't find people you connect with a lot like that kind of match is ah oh, it's so difficult to find all right guys so I went off camera and I did my eyes and my lips. They will be on my Instagram, a real on my Instagram if you're interested, but it's really cute. It's giving me a soft glam look. Okay. I'm trying to, you know, just move forward, talk to God about it because it's also it's also been hard praying as well, just because you think that everything because everything is so bleh, you know you you just pray but even that seemed to be difficult at some point because i don't know well i'm getting back to it it's like oh my god who is this girl now you don't know nothing you know grace if you've watched tmc right you know season one grace was in tmc she was tyle's wife and she'll go tyle don't you know everything you have is because of me and my father <laughs> if you do anyhow i'll 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 put you back on the street when i found you i'm so sorry guys that it's just i've been into that lately like and i've been listening to um cocktails and takeaways it's a podcast by Madam Joyce and um, bra, bra, bra. <laughs> she's so funny. Like she's so funny. Honestly, I wish I was born abroad. Like I'm not even gonna lie, because what? Like, wouldn't it be mad to have a British accent? What would you think? It's like a matter of war. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Like all of you who come back to watch my channel. Like. You guys are the real MVPs, honestly. And all your comments warm my heart. Thank you very much. And if you're new here, subscribe. You will love me, I promise. Okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please. I'm begging you to subscribe. Follow me on Tit. TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And yeah, turn on your post notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video, okay?